Welcome back. It is time for a Project 10 Uses update. I really enjoy this project pan. It is what it says, Project 10 Uses. So I pick four or five items at a time, use them 10 times, and it's a really nice shop my stash style project where I really like to rotate through my collection, make sure I'm using things. I do a separate shop my stash, but then I also do project pans where I'm trying to use things up. So this is like somewhere in between those two things. This was first started by Phoebe HB. I will link her in the description box. I think this is such a fun idea. So it's just a nice way to rotate through my collection. I really, really like that about it. And yeah, I just like project panning and shopping my stash in general. I do a lot of that on my channel and I normally upload four videos a week. I'm trying to get back on schedule. And if you wanna see more Project Pan videos, check out my Project Pan playlist. So I had four things and I used them all 10 times and I'm picking five new things and they're all cream products. So this is a cream products edition. So yeah, first let me recap the products that I had before. I'll show you the new ones and let's get started. I had the butter bronzer and I actually, I think I used this way more than 10 times because I did bring this on one of my trips with me. And this is the original butter bronzer and I've had this for a while. This used to be my holy grail bronzer and I've panned a few of these in the past, but now I have other bronzers that I also like. So I don't know that I would feel the need to repurchase this if I ever finished it. Not that I'm anywhere close to finishing this, um, but I liked it, you know, it's a nice bronzer, it blends out. I brought it with me on one of my trips. I used it, it was nice. Um, then I had the Dior powder and I actually really like this. This is something the more I use it, the more I enjoy it. And I have the shade 2N and this adds pretty much like no coverage. It just sets your foundation but it just gives a bit of a glow, but it still sets the foundation and keeps it from moving. This is really nice. Um, yeah, I've like mostly worn off the design now. And yeah, I think this is something when I first bought it, I was like, yeah, it seems like a nice powder, you know. But now that I've used it more, I actually think it's really fantastic. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I had, this is a newer item I wanted to put in this project. I like to do a combo of newer and older things sometimes just to, you know, make sure I'm using everything. This is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo in Do We Know Her? And I really enjoy this product. Um, so this is a cream blush and this is a powder. This is a peachy toned one. I really, really like it. And so how they say to use this is actually to use the powder and then the cream blush. I've done this a number of ways. I have used just the cream, just the powder, combined them. I've done all the things and it's really, really nice. I wanna get more, than, more of these. The formula is so good on both the powder and the cream. They just blend out so nicely. Oh really really enjoy that um, Sephora VIB sale is coming up I might get another one we'll see and then there was an older item this is the hourglass which one is this this is the sculpture palette this is from two years ago I think and yeah I enjoyed using this so I didn't use I'm trying to think what I used I used the two finishing powders quite a bit and then this blush I'm actually wearing this blush today this is mood exposure I've layered it with um, a blush in my project pan that I'm trying to finish, which is it's gonna take a while. Um, so I'm layering this with that MAC blush in my Finish 10 in 2022 project pan. I really like this face palette, I do. Um, I think I'm at the point though where I, I haven't bought anything from Hourglass in a long time. I don't feel the need to buy their products anymore, but the ones I have, I will use and I enjoy them. My favorite thing in this palette I think is definitely this mood exposure blush. It's just really, really pretty. So yeah, I really enjoyed everything. I think my favorite things out of these four, the Patrick Ta blush duo and the Dior powder really, really impressed me. So like I said, I have picked all cream products for this next round and two of these I haven't even used yet. So I got these in PR from ColourPop like a month ago and they are their Super Shock Shadows. 
I just don't reach for single potted eyeshadows, but these are so pretty. So this shade is called Dream Much. So obviously my goal is to use all of these 10 times. That's what this project is. Um, but this color, I'm like so sad I have not used this. It's really, really pretty. It's definitely shimmery, but yes, periwinkle, I love it. So yeah, this is called, um, oh yeah, this is one of their ultra glitters. So it's Dream Much Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter Formula. So as you can tell, it's definitely a bit sheer, definitely sparkly. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so. I want to use that and then the other one that I got sent again haven't used it how sad this one is called tassel and this is also one of their ultra glitters man okay I need to also wow yeah this one is very sparkly and it looks like it's just white in the pan but it's not you can tell there's some other shifts of color there okay these are really pretty I need to use them, decide how I feel about them, but just based on swatches, they're pretty. And then three other cream products I picked. This I haven't used in so long. This is the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Color in the shade Crush. This is like an orange liquid blush <laughs> and it's so pretty, but I think the reason I don't reach for this is because it's a liquid, it's easier for me to just use like a stick cream blush. And this is very pigmented, so I have to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then dot it on my face. Basically what I'm saying is that it's more time consuming to use this, but this is such a pretty color. And I know I like the formula. It's, it's really stunning, so need to use that. And then two more cream products. I picked the Berry M Contour Stick. This is number two contour and I really like this this I did bring on my trip to Miami and really enjoyed it this blends out very easily and I also do have the rare beauty um bronzer stick which I really enjoy and so this is an older one I want to get use out of it and then I did pick another older cream blush in my collection this I actually took on one of my trips as well and really enjoyed it this is the Palladio blush stick, and this shade is Sweetheart. This one is one of my favorites. Look at that color. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I think these are great. Um, I did get these sent to me from Palladio last year, and I think out of the colors I was sent, this one is my favorite. I mean, look at that pink. It's so beautiful. I love blush. But yeah, I mean, it's just so much more convenient to use something like this where I can just swipe it on and then blend it out either with a brush or a sponge. Whereas this one, it's just a bit more time consuming, you know, put it on the back of my hand, then dot it on my face. So it's a bit more of a thing, which is why I tend to not reach for this as much. But I want to get used out of my cream products. I am also doing the Partners in Cream Project pan though. And I love that project, so, but yeah, I just wanted to use more of my cream products, make sure I'm rotating through everything because we know cream products go bad much faster than powder products. So yeah, I'm very excited to use everything. I loved that Dior powder, that is so nice. I'm really, I'm impressed with it. So that is it for this project pan update. Let us know if you are doing this project as well. Like I said, it was created by Phoebe HB. I will link her in the description box. Check out my Project Pan playlist for more Project Pan videos. I'm trying to get back on schedule with my filming. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.